Hey guys, fine, we're here back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a freeform building system in the Godot engine. So let's get right into it. So the first place we need to go is the script on our camera that allows us to like control it. And we want to have a function called mouse ray and it needs to pass in a collision mask. This collision mask is usually an integer. We need to create a variable in that function called space date. And we just say get world dot direct space date. And then we have another variable called mouse pause, and it's get viewport dot get mouse position, so it just gets the mouse position in pixels. Ray origin, and we just say dollar sign camera, so we're getting our camera. And we say dot project ray origin, and we just pass in that mouse pause variable. We create another variable called ray end. We do ray origin plus camera dot project ray normal mouse pause, and then multiply it by our distance. In my case, two thousand. Uh, the camera can't really zoom in and out, so 2000 is a good number, but change this depending on your needs. And then the last variable is intersection, and it's space date dot intersect ray. We take in ray origin, ray end, an empty array, and this collision mask uh, as a parameter for the function. And then we do an if statement, so if not intersection dot empty, we set a variable on our global vars script. And that variable is called global mouse position, and we just say equal to intersection dot position. And then we also say global ion selected, which is just the thing we're hovering over. And we just say intersection dot get collider dot get path. And I actually have a state machine set up, so I just match the current state. And if we are in build mode, then I just use the collision layer of one. Everything else is collision layer of two. And this global var script just has the global mouse pause and the global ion selected on it. Now the next place we need to go is the blueprint. I'm using this barracks as an example. You need a kinematic body on it. This should actually be one of the only things you need actually. And I have an area to just check for a collision. And this collision shape is just a rectangle, or not a rectangle, but whatever the shape is, a box shape. And it just kind of takes up the entire building. This checks for a collision. I'm not sure what this kinematic body does, but it has the layer of two, and then I have the mesh instance with a blueprint material on it, and the root is just a spatial node. And then to check for collision, I just connect the body entered and the body exited down here, and I have an array called colliding objects, and we just append that body to that colliding objects array when the body enters it, and we erase it when the body exits, and we check if that that array size is greater than zero. If it is, then can build is equal to false. If it is less than zero, then can build is equal to true. And we just update the building blueprint translation. So we round it if we are holding down the control key. It's just an action I have set up in my input map. It's called control, and I just have it bound to control key. I do this little formula here, round global vars dot global mouse pause dot x divide by one times one. So this is the increment amount. And I do that with the x and the z. If we are not holding control, then I just set the translation to global vars dot global mouse position. And in the process function still, I have input dot is action press confirm build. And we can build and we have the money required to build and we are in territory. Then I create a variable, I'll just call it B, and it is a spatial node, and it is set to building to instance dot instance. This is a exported packed scene I have up here, so we just instance that packed scene. We get the parent of this blueprint, so it should either be it should either be this spatial node or the navigation node. And we just add the child of B that we created. We set its transform to the blueprints transform, and we just set the current state to global vars that state dot normal we subtract the money and then we queue the building free if we decide to cancel the build then we just reset its state and we queue free so all this is good but how can we create the ui that allows us to spawn these buildings we'll open up your user interface i have a vbox container full of buttons and it has a simple script on it each button has a simple script and it just has an export for our building blueprint and a packed scene. Press this button, I just connect the signal pressed to self on build button pressed. I do this automatically because it'll want to do something funky with the names of the signals. 
we just create a var building blueprint and we just say equal to building blueprint dot instance we get the active scene we add the child of bb global vars dot current state is equal to global vars dot states dot build mode and that should be it for actually spawning in a building so if i go ahead click play here we should see it working yes so if you followed along uh you should have something similar to this if you found it somewhat informative or completely informative be sure to leave a like and subscribe helps out channel helps good content like this recommend to others if you didn't like then let me know in the comment section down below and while you're down there be sure to subscribe it helps out the channel helps good content like this recommend to others i know i said that already but i have to say it again for good measures that's all from me for now a fun uber out